Anastasia. I solemnly vow to love you faithfully. She comes from a protected environment and kind of a naive headspace in the beginning and ends up being the ultimate fierce and and protective woman. Please stop speaking to my husband as if I weren't here. Anna. You may call me Mrs. Gray. Those are the, the traits that I admire of her the most and the fact that she is perpetually true to herself. I need to have my own identity here. People already think I got to where I am because of you. But you didn't. You got this through hard work and talent. Why does it matter what you call yourself? Who gives what people think? Well, apparently you do. He's become sort of humanized through the course of the movies. When we first meet him, he's quite impenetrable and unrelatable and very complicated. And, and, and by the end, by Anna's influence and the love he has for her and she has for him, he's sort of become a fuller, kind of more rounded, sort of happier uh, person. Mr. and Mrs. Gray, <laughs> welcome home. There's not one moment in which she compromises herself for anyone or anything, and that, that I admire and I think is a good role model for women to have. Yes! What do you think? It's hot. Is it a little bit too low in the middle? <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of bittersweet, you know, because it's been, you know, great experience and a fruitful experience and, and a rewarding experience and um, but all good things have to come to an end so you know I'm accepting of that.